more features on Excel. Hello students, today we will learn some new features of MS Excel. Okay ma'am. Let us see how we can sort data in Excel. I have entered the result of your exams in this worksheet. Can anyone tell me who has got the highest marks in mathematics? Ma'am, Priya has got the highest marks. Ma'am, I think Barry has got the highest marks. Students, we have an easy way to tell who has got the highest marks. We can sort the data in ascending or descending order. To do this, we need to select the data and click on the data tab. Now, we have to click on the sort option in the sort and filter group. The sort dialog box opens like this. We need to check the option My data has headers if it is unchecked. Then, we have to click on the sort by drop down arrow to select the fields for sorting. Now, we need to select the mathematics option to apply sorting. Now, click on the order drop down arrow to select the largest to smallest option. Finally, click on OK. We can see that Barry has got the highest marks in mathematics. So, we learnt that we can sort data in any manner using MS Excel. Ma'am, can we also see how many students got 80 marks? Definitely, dear. We can use the filter tool to see how many students have scored 80. To do this, we need to select the data and then click on the data tab. Now, click on the filter option in the sort and filter group. Then, click on the drop down arrow with the column heading mathematics. See, a list opens like this. By default, all the marks in the list are checked. To filter the marks, we have to uncheck all the boxes except 80. Now, Click on OK. We have three names in this list who have got 80 marks in mathematics. Excel has such amazing features, ma'am. So students, this is all for today. We will learn another interesting topic tomorrow. Thank you, ma'am. Berry, I never knew we could do so much with Excel. It's so wonderful to learn new things. Now, let's go home and practice more on Excel. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update.